Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Becca with House of Wonder Mond, and today um, I wanted to show you what the uh, Rose of Jericho or Rosa de Jericho um, resurrection plant uh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem flower looks like after it's been sitting out all night in water. Um, so this is what it looks like if you take a close look here on some of the leaves. Um, it does look a bit like a cedar plant. Um, you know, it doesn't really smell. I mean, unless you stick your nose up in there, it, it kind of smells like dirt. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is what she looks like um, after she's been fully resurrected. So um, I had a lot of questions on my last video. Um, and uh, there was a few people that wanted to know um, how long these will keep. Well, this one here, that bag that I have that has um, about six of them, I've had these for about eight years now. Um, once they go into their dormant state, they'll stay dormant indefinitely until they find uh, water. So you can keep them for years on end and um, resurrect them whenever you know you just want to enjoy or, or perhaps do a ritual. Um, and yeah, just make sure that they're completely dried out before you store them until they look like this. And then you can store them. Um, I wanted to also tell you guys, um, <clears throat> not all of them um, will be green like this. Um, as you can see, there's parts of it that are green. There's parts of it here that are still brown. Um, I've seen some that when they resurrect, they stay brown, but they'll be fully open like this. Um, and a good way to tell is when you're out looking you can see how inside you can see just a little peak of, brown, of, of green. Um, that's a good indicator um, that your plant will more than likely um, have some greenery, some green foliage once it opens up. Um, but even if it doesn't, even if it stays brown, it's still, they're really super cool plants. Um, so today I wanted to show you what I'm going to do with this one. And... Um, First off, here she is again, and um, here is the root system once it's been in water here, and you can see the back side is still brown. That's the way it, that it's going to remain. The inside may or may not turn green. Like I said, you may want to look inside of the plant to see if you can um, get a peek to see if there's any little bit of green that you can use there or, or that you would like. Um, so this is the water, the holy water that we used yesterday. Um, now, there's several things you can do with this water. I like to keep the water and um, I'm gonna transfer it over here. Um, simply because metaphorically, symbolically, um, this water was able to give this life and bring it back to life, to resurrect it. So metaphorically this water um, can hold tremendous amount of energy um, so what I'm going to do <clears throat> excuse me guys I'm still burning incense today I am burning Palo Santo resin so so I'm taking out all of my stones that I placed in here yesterday um, set them out here and you can see the water is a bit dirty. It looks dirty, um, and that's going to be normal um, with all of your rows of Jerichos. And simply because this water, um, I had programmed all of these crystals and put them here before I put the water in with the plant. Um, not only is it infused with... Um, the energy and the life of the plant it's also infused with the energy that i and the intentions of the crystals so what i'm going to do is this water right here i'm going to transfer it to this bowl here 
Now this water, you can use it for all sorts of stuff. You can use the water to water all of your other plants. You can use it, um, for instance, if you're doing a spiritual bath, a floor wash, um, you can take some of it like this and kind of um, sprinkle it around for cleansings and blessings. Um, it's it's uh, You can um, repurpose this water in a multitude of different ways. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just place all of my crystals back in. And also, I was talking to my dear friend Ona yesterday, um, Ona from Ona's Tarot. If you guys haven't checked her out, I would highly recommend her. She is just fabulous. I adore her. She's a really great a friend and, and just a wonderful teacher. Um, but she was she texted me yesterday also about um, another message from this plant, um, you know, because of the particular adaptation of these plants they can um, roll around in the desert um, aimlessly <laughs> for months or years on end um, until by chance they come across water where they're able to um, flourish and resurrect like this and her message that she took away is take root like the root system here take root and open up be receptive. I thought that was just beautiful when, when she said that. So I we have been very fortunate here in California, Southern California, as you can see out there, it is raining. It's been raining nonstop for, um, oh yeah, the wind knocked over our patio chairs. <laughs> um, it's been raining nonstop here in Southern California. So I've collected quite a bit of rainwater. And today I'm gonna be using rainwater to refill um, my little bowl here. And I'm gonna put her back in to the water. And what I'm doing today is I have um, charged these crystals with my intention for what I'm trying to resurrect in my life, in my experience. Um, so I have some amethyst here that I will be placing inside and one small piece, this is the smallest, tiniest little piece of quartz that I could find and I'm going to place it there and put it back on the little um, plate that I had her on. Um, I've already charged these, like I said, and now I'm just going to let it sit there and, and work its magic. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to let this sit here till Sunday, Easter, and once that's done, I will remove her out of the water and put her just back on this plate here so that um, she can fully dry off until she's back into this state with the crystals inside so that the plant itself, um, once it dries out, it seals the intention here, okay? Um, once that's done there, I'm gonna place her here on my um, selenite wand. Um, the selenite is, is associated with the moon. Um, this is a self-cleaning and re self-recharging stone. I always keep it here on my windowsill um, with the intention of drawing in um, moon energy so when she's all done and sealed up like this i'll just place her here with the intention of drawing down moon energy to um, seal my intention just as the plant is sealed here and then after she sits there for about three days or so um i'll put her back here and let her open up and uh, help me with my manifestations um so thank you so very much, you guys. Um, I got a lot of wonderful feedback on the video that we did 
on the Rose of Jericho. And um, I hope that answered some of your questions. Again, you can keep these little guys indefinitely. Um, they are very well adapted, um, you know, and, and that's where, you know, the symbology of the resurrection plant comes in because um, it can stay like this dormant for years and years and years and years. Um, just floating around trying to find some water or trying to get lucky and get some water for it to resurrect. Okay, thank you guys so very, very much. Um, I really did enjoy um, reading all of your lovely, beautiful comments that you guys left on what you're doing right now for self-care and um, trying to relax and, and stay calm. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things we can do right now in these times since we're locked up at home. Um, you know, we can make spiritual baths, we can make spiritual floor washes, we can make moon water. Um, there's all sorts of things we can do. Let your creativity and your imagination guide you. Um, and I hope you guys found this interesting. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. Thank you so very, very much for being with me here today. Happy Good Friday to you all. If you know, if you do practice, and um, happy Easter Sunday, okay? Many, many blessings to everyone. Bye-bye.